Well, blessed morning, gang. We got a bit of a different lesson today. I usually don't use this one, but um, this is called No Escape for July 21st. And of course, it's July 21st, 2022. No Escape. And the scripture is, the scripture is Amos 5, 6 through 8, and 14 through 15. Hmm, Amos is not a real popular one. I, I can't really remember nothing from Amos. I have read it before, but perhaps I need to go back. So let's, with no further ado, let's get into this. Come back to the Lord and live. You twist justice, making it a bitter pill for the oppressed. You treat the righteous like dirt. It is the Lord who created the stars, the plagues, and Orion. He turns darkness into morning and day into night. He draws up water from the oceans and pours it down as rain on the land. The Lord is his name. Do what is good and run from evil so that you may live. Then the Lord, God of heaven's armies, will be your helper, just as you have claimed. Hate evil and love what is good. Turn your courts in a true hall of justice. Perhaps even yet the Lord God of heaven's armies will have mercy on the remnant of his people. The remnant of his people. Look at all the foolishness that you see in the world. I truly believe that there are more non-believers here in this world than there are believers. And if it wasn't so, we wouldn't see such wickedness, craziness, foolishness, oh, just overall evil upon the land today. The things that are accepted today are are an abomination in the eyes of God and they are increasing it's almost like the whole world is becoming a modern Sodom and Gomorrah especially the United States and what they have the Lord challenges you and me to depend on him and him alone we should not try to run from him but rather repent return to him and give him total control over our lives when I did that in January 5th, 2008, it was the beginning of a journey. And I was really strong in the Lord. I'm still I'm stronger now, but sometimes I have to break comfort zones daily, of course. And um, do I always depend on Him? That's the battle of the flesh and the spirit. But I'm becoming to get my, to give the weakness of my emotions to Him, to Yahweh, to great God Almighty Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, so that they are guided righteously. And as far as my anger, anger gives a foothold to the devil. But if you give your anger to the Lord, it's going to turn into indignant. The definition of indignant is righteous anger. This is what the Lord had when he went to the money. <laughs> he went to the synagogue and then basically made a flea market out of it. He became indignant, made a read of whips, and he let all the animals free, flipped all the money, changed their tables over. And that is a representation of the way it needs to be today because these mega churches are foolish. I can't believe that Joel Osteen's got money in his walls. Come on, man. How many churches you know got money in the walls like that? <laughs> oh, man. He just one of many examples. I pray that Osteen, that the scales fall from his eyes and he goes home to the kingdom of heaven. You know, I see him in his Victoria and all this stuff. Man, the rest of us, we just try to eat a McDonald's sometimes, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, man. Come back to the Lord and live. There it is right there. You twist justice, making it a bitter pill for the oppressed. You treat the righteous like dirt. Well, what if you don't twist justice, but if you be justice, walk that straight line, making it a, better, a bitter pill? What if you make it the way that you live a great fruit? for the oppressed to see so they can see a way out and the fruit that you have only comes from the tree of life none other than the bible the basic instructions before leaving earth you treat the righteous like dirt but what if you treat the righteous what if you be what if you become righteous by knowing that you are not righteous but the lord is who is thou who is thou calling me good but saith the lord we are not good but if we accept the Lord as our Lord, our Savior, our best friend, our high counselor, then we have everything that we need. And um, do only to him are we righteous. For our righteousness is as filthy rags, but his is perfect and pure. And with all that being said, don't I serve a God that is alive or not dead? I'm here to tell you that we're here to take those set in the darkness and to pull them up in the gods, into God's life and be satisfied as children of the Most High God. Bless your iron journey.